In this presentation, we will be learning more about hospice. The presentation has been prepared by Dr. Vallabh B. Taimotkar. He is Honorary Secretary of IMA Ponda Charitable Trust and President of Goa Chapter of National Association of Palliative Care for Ayush and Integrative Medicine. What is hospice? The word hospice is derived from Latin word hospitum, which means hospitality and it is basically a resting place for people who are very sick and dying. We should always understand it is different from hospital, which is a healthcare setup for active medical treatment. 86 percent of the people who need palliative care do not receive it and that is how they suffer in agonizing pain and with distressing symptoms. So, the first hospice in the United States was established in New Haven, Connecticut in 1974. Dame Cicely Saunders is considered to be founder of palliative care and from 1918 to 2005, she was an English nurse and social worker, physician as well as writer. Concept of care of dying and concept of hospice, it is started at St. Christopher's Hospice, London in 1967. Medical definition of hospice care is the care which is designed to support the care to the people in final phase of terminal illness and focus on comfort and quality of life rather than cure. The philosophy of hospice is to provide support for the patient's emotional, social and spiritual needs as well as medical symptoms as part of treating the whole person. Hospice is an approach to care, so it is not tied to a specific place. It can be offered in two types of settings at home or in a facility such as a nursing home, hospital or even in a separate hospice center. Goals of hospice care, a type of health care that focuses on palliation of a terminally ill patient's pain and symptoms and attending to their emotional as well as spiritual needs at the end of life. It prioritizes comfort and quality of life by reducing the pain and sufferings of the patient. Patient directed goals are integral and interwoven throughout the care. The goal thus is to enable patients to be comfortable and free of pain, so that they live each day as fully as possible. Is hospice care and palliative care same? Certainly not. So, let us understand what is the difference between the two. In palliative care, there is no life expectancy limit, whereas in hospice care, it may be less than 6 months. It is covered under traditional medical insurance of Medicare. It is covered under Medicare. Palliative care is more aggressive treatment of symptoms without compromising the quality of life and in case of hospice care, pain management to allow patient to die with dignity is there. However, quality of life is common, offering emotional, physical, spiritual and support to the patient in both. Some differences between palliative care and hospice care, who can be treated? In palliative care, anyone with a serious illness. In hospice, anyone with a serious illness whom doctors think 
has less than 6 months of life. Will my symptoms be relieved? Yes, in case of palliative care certainly and in case of hospice care as much as possible. Can I continue to receive treatments to cure my illness? Yes, if a person wishes. However, no, only symptom relief will be provided in hospices. With Medicare, pay for it. It depends on your benefits and treatment plan in case of palliative care. However, in case of hospice, it pays all hospice charges. Does private insurance pay? It depends upon the plan once again and for hospice again it depends on the plan. How long will I be cared for? This depends on what care you need and your insurance plan in case of palliative care. And in case of hospice, as long as you meet the hospice's criteria of illness with a life expectancy of months, not years. Next question may be, where will I receive this care? In case of palliative care, it may be home, assistant living facility, nursing home, hospital. In case of hospices, it could be home, assisted living facility, nursing home, hospice facility or hospital. When should hospice care start? Hospice care is used when a disease such as advanced cancer gets to the point when treatment can no longer cure or control it. In general, hospice care should be used when a person is expected to live about 6 months or less. If the illness runs its usual course, people with advanced cancer should have a discussion with their family members and doctors to decide together when hospice care should begin. What does hospice care provide? Palliative care and symptom control are provided at hospice care. Home care and IPD hospice care may also be available. Spiritual care is available. Family meetings are organized. Coordination of care is made. Respite care is provided and bereavement care is also given. The hospice team even provides respite care when caregivers need a break. Respite care can be for as short as a few hours or as long as several weeks depending upon the need of the caregivers or the family. It is a patient centric approach involving physiotherapists, social workers, psychotherapists, nurses and general practitioners. It is a multidisciplinary team of experts and patient centric which we have already covered several times having medical doctor, physician, nurse, CNA, other therapist, bereavement specialist, chaplain, volunteer and social worker. What are the activities at hospice? Home care is part of hospice care, education of caregivers is done, group counseling is there, entertainment programs are organized, prayers are organized, celebration of days and festivals is done, networking with other organizations is done, palliative care training of doctors, nurses, volunteers, social workers is done. Research projects are taken up and developing protocols, end of life policy etcetera are taken care of. What is the difference between palliative care and end of life care? Palliative care is living with life limiting illness with any prognosis. It involves symptom management maximizing the quality of life, spiritual health care, psychosocial support and maximizing the community supports. Whereas, end of life care is ongoing medical treatments as appropriate, involves hospice care or home support, weeks to months to live, 
symptom management, spiritual health care and psychosocial support. Points to be appreciated in case of hospice care involve it is an active care, total care which is provided by a team, goals of care are determined by patient and family and not the doctors, regards death as a normal process, care for the patient and loved ones, it is empowering the caregiver and the family, education and training of caregiver for care of dying patient is there, end of life care, caregivers issues are addressed and networking with various specialities and organizations is taken care of. We can see the patients discussing with the doctors in a hospice environment. So, in case of hospices, the physical component usually needs treatment that is drugs cause variable degrees of distress and interferes, interferes with others life. Whereas, the spiritual components may be guilt or remorse, fear of what happens after death and sense of connectedness. The emotional components may be adjustment disorders, anxiety and depression, frustration and hopelessness and the social issues may be distress over family members and carers, loss of role and participation issues. We can see that all these issues are being discussed regularly in a hospice environment. The patient's perspective is always in presence of the loved ones and we can see the smile on the faces of the patients within the hospice. It is together we win. You matter because of who you are, you matter to the last moment of your life and we will do all we can not only to help you die peacefully, but also to live until you die are the words from Dame Cicely Saunders, founder of the first modern hospice. Here we can say the phrases and layers of care, the palliative care, it involves living with a life limiting illness with any prognosis, involves symptom management, maximizing the quality of life, involves palliative chemotherapy or radiotherapy, it involves palliative surgery, it maximizes community support as well as psychosocial support. So, then ongoing medical treatments as appropriate may be the inner layer, hospice care and home supports are there, condition is non-curative end of life care is provided, weeks to months are there to live for the patient, symptom management, spiritual health care and psychosocial support is given to the patient. In case of terminal care, psychosocial support of patient and family is there, symptom management is there and spiritual care is there. And here from days to hours may be there to live for the patient. And this is usually taken care by hospice care, when we are talking about end of life care and terminal care. This is one of the paintings made by a patient who was hospitalized in a hospice. Thank you.